Let's have the continuation of our lecture video in Engineering Economics with the topic Depreciation Methods and we are considering in this video the last two methods, the Declining Balance Method, also known as the Mathison's Method or Constant Percentage of Declining Value and the last one, the do Double Declining Balance Method or DDB. Now, for the declining balance method or the Mathison's method, the declining balance method is an accelerated depreciation system of recording larger depreciation expenses during the earlier year of an asset's useful life and recording smaller depreciation expenses during the asset's later years. And here are the formulas to be used in computing for the declining balance method. To find the, the uh, book value, we have here, the book value is equal to the first cost multiplied with 1 minus the K or the annual rate of depreciation raised to the power of M or the year being considered. Then we have the depreciation value. We have their first cost 1 minus K raised to the power of M minus 1 multiplied with the K or the annual rate of depreciation. And as for the annual rate of depreciation, depreciation K, here is the formula to remember. So we have their K is equal to 1 minus uh, nth root of SB or the salvage value over the first cost. So let's uh, answer the Three examples given under this uh, method. So number one, we have the construction equipment costing, costing 180,000 pesos. It has a salvage value of 15,000 pesos at the end of its life of 12 years. Find the fifth year depreciation using a constant percentage of the declining balance value. So. Take note, it did not mention declining balance method. Rather, it mentions the constant percentage of declining value. So here, we need to write first the given, the first cost of 180,000 pesos, the salvage value of 15,000 pesos, and then the life of the equipment of 12 years then we are looking for the fifth year depreciation so the fifth year depreciation m that is equal to m is equal to 5 now we are solving for the depreciation so the formula for depreciation here is first cost times 1 minus k raised to m minus 1 times k so depreciation is equal to first cost 1 minus k raised to m minus 1 multiplied with k. But first, let's compute for the value of k. So for the value of k, the formula here is 1 minus n root of salvage value over first cost so that is nth root of salvage value which is uh, so let's write the formula salvage value over first cost and that is equal to oh it's one minus okay? so it's one minus nth root so one minus nth root of salvage value then the first cost so that is equal to one minus so if if you don't have this uh, function in your calculator so let's just put here salvage value of fifteen thousand all over first cost of one hundred eighty thousand raised to the power of one over twelve so the value of k is so 1 minus 15,000 
over 180, 180,000 raised to the power of 1 over 12. So that is one, uh, 0 0.187. So 0 0.187. Then substituting the value of K to the formula for depreciation, we now have here first cost 180,000 pesos, 1 minus 0 0.187 raised to 5 minus 1 times 0 0.18. Seven. So one eighty thousand times one minus point one eight seven raised to the power of four over or multiplied with point one eight seven. So the depreciation value here at M year or that is the fifth year is equal to 14,705.64 pesos. So that is depreciation at the fifth year. So that's for number one. So we can also write here so that for emphasis, so, fifth year depreciation. Okay, next, let's go to number two. What is the machine's economic life if the book value at the end of two years is estimated to be 948,037.50 pesos using the double uh, D DBM? Okay, so the declining balance method. Okay, so that is declining balance method. So this is DBM. Okay, first cost is 1,500 or there's 1,500,000, sorry. Then salvage value is 60,000 pesos at the end of its economic life. Okay, so given the first cost, and the salvage value, what else? What is what is 948,000 here? That is book value. So book value is equal to 948,037.50 pesos. Then, we are looking for the value of N or the economic life of the machine. And then, this book value here is computed at the end of the second year. So we have here the value F of M is two years. And since given is the book value, so let's use the formula for the book value, which is equal to first cost times 1 minus K raised to M. So book value is equal to first cost times 1 minus k raised to m. So 948037.50. Then the first cost is 1,500,000 times 1 minus k. So there is no k value here. So let's just put here k. Raised to the value of m, which is 2. So, what is 948,037.5 divided by 1,500,000? So, that is 0 0.632. So, that is 0 0.632 equals 1 minus k raised to 2. So, what is... 0.632 raised to 1 half. 63. Oh. 0.632 raised to 1 half. It's 0.795. So 
So that is 0 0.795 equals 1 minus k. k is equal to this 1 minus 0 0.795. 0 0.205. So k value is 0 0.205. Next, we're looking for n. So, looking at these three formulas here, where can we get the value of n in the formula for k, which is here. So, that is k is equal to 1 minus nth root of the salvage value over the first cost. So, that is equal to 0 0.205 equals 1 minus salvage value of 60,000 divided by the first cost of 1,500,000 raised to the power of 1 over n. Okay? So let's simplify this. We have 0 0.205 equals 1 minus what is 60,000 divided by 1.5 million. So 60,000 divided by 1, uh, 600,000. Sorry, it should be. Okay, so it says here 60,000, okay? 60,000. So that would be 0 0.04. Oh, in the, in the textbook, it says there 600,000. Okay, so it we put here salvage value for uh, 600 thousand so there's a correction here so the salvage value is six hundred thousand okay then we now have the value for uh, point four zero point four raised to the power of one over n so it says that let's see if we get the correct answer from the given answer in the textbook. So 1 minus 0.4 raised to the power of 1 over n. How do we solve this? If we don't have a shift solve function in the calculator, then we might as well try to use logarithm, logarithmic, 0.4 raised to 1 over n. Is equal to this is 1 minus 205 that is 0 0.795 this is similar to log of 0.4 the base 0.4 so log of 0 0.795 to the base 0 0.4 it is equal to 1 over n so what is okay so what is log of 0.795 to the base 0.4 that is 0.25 so it is 0.25 equals 1 over n therefore n is equal to so n is equal to 1 over 0.25 and that is equal to 4 n is equal to 4 years. That's the life or the economic life of the machine. Okay? So that's for number 2. And we have the correct answer. Let's go to number 3. A printing equipment costs 500,000 pesos and the cost of handling and installation is 30,000 pesos. 
The life of the equipment is 5 years. Book value at the end of 3 years is 128,556 pesos. Compute the salvage value of the equipment using, take note, it says there, Matheson's method. So if you don't know what Matheson's method is, then you might not be able to use these formulas. Because Matheson's method is also declining balance method. Okay, so let's have all the uh, given. The first cost is 500,000 pesos and there's a cost of handling and installation that is additional of 30,000 pesos for a total of 530,000 pesos. Then we have here the life of the equipment N is equal to 5 years. Then given also the book value, book value at the end of the third year, so let, we can put here 3 to indicate that it's the third year book value, that is 128,556, then M is 3. Find the salvage value. Now where do we find the salvage value from the formula? So it's in the K. So, it's 1 minus, so let's copy that. The K here is equal to 1 minus nth root of the salvage value over the first cost. So, we have here the salvage value. I know, we, don't, we have here the first cost, the N, but we don't have the value for K. So, let's first solve for the value of k. So with all this given, what can we use from this to we are using the book value formula. Okay? So let's put here, set this one aside and compute first for the book value. So book value is equal to first cost times 1 minus k raised to the power of m. So book value given is 128,556 is equal to the first cost of 530,000 pesos times 1 minus k raised to m which is 3. Okay, so this is 1,528,556 divided by 530,000. So, 0 0.243. So, that would be 0 0.243. So, raised to the power, or raised to the power of one-third, one minus k. So, k is equal to so 0.243, the answer raised to the power of, oops, the answer raised to the power of one third, so 0.5896, then one, or yeah, one minus the answer, 0.795. So are we doing this correctly? Let's repeat. 0.243 raised to one third. Oh, let me see. It's good that I repeated it. Then one minus. So, 0.243 raised to one third. 0.624. So that is. Uh, 1 minus 0.624. So k is equal to uh, 0.376. Therefore, we can now use the formula here. K. Let's move this more lower. Okay. So, 0.376 is equal to 1 minus 
salvage value of none. Okay, that's what is missing. First cost of 530,000 pesos raised to the power of 1 over value of n is 5. Okay. So we have here So, salvage value all over 530,000 is equal to 0.624 so raised to 1 over 5. Then, what is 0.624 raised to the power of 5 it is 0.946 multiplied with 530,000. 0.624 raised to 5.0946 So salvage value is equal to 0.0946 times 530,000 pesos 0.0946 times 0.0946 times 530,000 so we have here 50138. So salvage value here is 50,138 pesos. Now there will be a slight difference if you get the the uh, the whole value for this a while ago and in the book, we can have this as 50,141.67. Okay, so I'll still accept that. So that is for number 3. The last example for declining balance method. Okay, now let's go to the last method for depreciation for this video we have the double declining balance method or DBB what's the difference of this decli double declining balance method with the first one I think the obvious one is the word double the double declining balance depreciation or DBB method also known as the reducing balance method is one of the two common methods a business uses to account for the expense of a long-lived asset. The double declining balance depreciation method is an accelerated depreciation method that counts as an expense more rapidly. So the word there is it's more rapid expense when compared to the straight line depreciation that uses the same amount of depreciation each year over an asset's useful life. Similarly, Compared to the standard declining balance method, the double declining method depreciates assets twice as quickly. Okay? So, here are the formulas. The K here, or the, uh, the K value, the annual rate of depreciation, is equal to 2 over N. And then we have the formula for book value at the end of the M year is equal to the first cost times 1 minus K raised to the power of M. So this is the same with the formula here. So this is the same. The only difference is that when you use the uh, K here, the K becomes 2 over N. So thus, we have this formula. By the way, in this formula, or in this uh, handout, this M here is actually raised to the power of M. Okay? Then, for the depreciation at the M year, we have here depreciation is equal to First cost, 1 minus K raised to the power of M minus 1 times K. 
and it's still the same with the declining balance method the only difference is the k value it becomes 2 over n so let's solve the last two examples for the double declining balance method the first one an equipment bought at 150,000 pesos has a salvage value of 20,000 pesos at the end of 10 years. Find the book value at the end of 6 years using double declining balance method. So we have here the first cost equals 150,000 pesos. Salvage value of 20,000 pesos at the end of 10 years. So N is equal to 10 years. Find the book value at the end of 6, six years using double declining method. Therefore, M here is 6. So, here, we can already compute for the value of K. Because for K, we only have the formula 2 over N. So, 2 over 10 so that is equal to 0.2. That's for K. Now for book value, we have their first cost times 1 minus K raised to M. That is 150,000 pesos 1 minus 0.2 raised to 6. Therefore, book value now is equal to 150,000 times 1 minus 0.2 raised to 6. So that is 39321. So 39,321.6 pesos. So that's the book value. Using double declining balance method. Now for the last Example, we have number 2, given the cost of machine, so this is the first cost, as 1,400,000, useful life of 8 years, that is N, salvage value 10,000, is SV, determine the 4th year depreciation using double declining balance method, so M is equal to 4. Okay. So, if we are solving for the depreciation, again, so this is the formula for the depreciation. So, K is equal to 2 over N, which is 8 years. So, that is 0.25. So, for the depreciation at the 4th year, that is equal to or depreciation is equal to first cost 1 minus k raised to the power of m minus 1 times k. So depreciation at the fourth year is equal to first cost of 1.4 million pesos times 1 minus 0.25 raised to 4 minus 1 times 0.25. Five. So what is the depreciation the fourth year? So 1.4 million 1 minus 0.25 raised to 3 times 0.25. So we have here the value for depreciation at the fourth year as 147,656.25 pesos. Okay. So that's all for this video.